Hey everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day you're watching today. Sasha here. It is day three in the month of matcha as well as Tuesday. So y'all know what that means. Another episode of Tuesdays with a T. And ladies and gents, I just realized upon checking my um, order from yesterday from Whole Foods, they gave me two of the same flavor. I was supposed to have an original, a mint, and a hint of honey, but they gave me hint of honey and two mint. So today would have been the day that I really want to try the original because this is my first time trying one of their products, but... What am I referring to, y'all? It is matcha bar. I found this at Whole Foods, or rather, I saw this at the Whole Foods for my delivery, and I'm like, yo, let's do it. Why not? Um, I think this retails for $3.49-ish, but... Um, I may have gotten it on sale. Yeah, now nah, I put it in the video, in the text. But um, yeah, Matcha Bar, this is a new company, which is why I wanted to try the original first, but whatever. <laughs> so um, I'm reading the top, it's got some Japanese. Let's see if y'all can see it. Shake the, I have no idea, out of it. <laughs> That's cute. So matcha bar, hint of honey, keeps it 100. Oh, God, it's got the emoji on it. For shame. For shame. So this is cer this is using ceremonial grade matcha, which, again, which is why I would want the original. I don't want to taste. But this is, I think this is as close as I can get with what I have. I am not going to Whole Foods to try and find, a, um, you know, a new one. So next week we'll see about getting the original because I know y'all don't want to hear me moan and complain about not having the original anymore. So yeah, uh, this is made with ceremonial grade um matcha tea which i've never had fun fact um i've actually had the matcha matsu from david's tea which is i think kind of few pegs below ceremonial because there's culinary grade there's kitchen grade ceremonial grade i think ceremonial grade is the highest that's why this is so expensive uh, this is, ooh, they don't even tell you. Hmm. They just say one bottle, but they don't tell you the bottle size. That's weird. Okay. So, let's go through the description. The basics, hustle grade caffeine, L-theanine, antioxidants, Shake well, like really well. Yeah, no joke, because there was a lot of sediment at the bottom. And you know, if you leave matcha tea alone, it's going to separate whatever didn't mix well and dissolve in the warm water. It's going to solidify at the end or at the bottom. So yeah, I shook it really well and there's no sediment. Oh, I didn't read the subtext. I'm sorry, y'all. So hustle grade caffeine, no crash, no jitters. One hustle equals one energy drink. L-theanine keeps you calm and focused. Antioxidants, it's got the good stuff. And shake well, like really well. <laughs> so this has 80 milligrams of caffeine. And um, here's what I was reading. And um, let's see here. It says, Matcha Bar was founded by brothers Max and Graham in 2014. From cafe to bottle, the hustle continues at matcha bar. Uh, nutrition facts, here we go. So serving size is one bottle. It's weird that they don't tell you. I think this is a 12 ounce, but I'm not sure. Uh -oh. 
So, uh, amount per serving, like I said before, 35 calories for the whole bottle. Total fat, zero. Sodium, zero. Carbs, eight grams. Dietary fiber, one gram. Sugar, seven gram. Protein, one gram. Vitamin C, 6%. Iron, 2%. Ingredients are as follows. Water, wildflower, honey, honey excuse me. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, ceremonial grade matcha, lactic acid, and chlorophyllin. Or, or chlorophyllin. I don't know. But interesting. Yeah, this is a really deep green. And um, I'm wondering if they put the chlorophyllin, violin, whatever, um, to just make it uh, more exotic looking and deep green looking. But good matcha tea should have this color irregardless. And y'all, the lighting here is not doing this justice, but yeah, it's, it's a really deep forest green looking thing. It's also non-GMO project verified and gluten-free. As you can tell, here's the nutrition facts. And the little excerpt from the brothers up top. So yeah, y'all, let's go on and get to tasting, shall we? Because I got a fun day of work ahead of me. And also, y'all, the... Yeah, the video that I shot last night, I'm just getting to upload that now. So it's like day two and Monday Night Delight will be out this morning. And this video will be out in the evening. Yeah, it kind of sucks. Ah, that's cute. So the inside says, good things come to those who hustle. Jeez, why don't y'all just call it hustle, hustle Bar or some junk? Jeez Louise, all this hustling. All right. So this is Matcha Bars, Hint of Honey Matcha, Ceremonial Grade. I am really excited. We are seven minutes in, so I know y'all just want me to taste it. So here we go. Cheers, y'all. Matcha Bar. It's not as vegetal as I would assume, you know, matcha to be. It's kind of light tasting. Um, I'm wondering if they like diluted the matcha like crazy. Because y'all know me. Y'all know I like to have my drinks concentrated like... Doesn't matter if it's matcha or regular tea. Like, I like a strength to the tea. So this kind of tastes um, weak to me. I did get the little hint of honey at the initial taste when it hit my tongue and taste buds and all that. But, um... Yeah, like, you, get, you can even get a whiff of the wildflower honey. But, um, yeah, this tastes super dilute to me. It's like, it, it tastes like matcha laced water. So, hmm. Interesting. <laughs> interesting, interesting, interesting. But we're going to go on and give the verdict because why not? So in the case of matcha bars, hint of honey matcha that keeps it 100. Out of my rating scale of good, okay, bad, I would rate this, I'd rate this a good. But it's kind of borderline good. I'd say it could even toe into okay territory. But no, it's still good. Um... I do appreciate that it when it says hint of honey, it's a hint. Like, don't expect this isn't overly sweet at 35 calories for the whole bottle. Ooh, excuse me, y'all. I got the hiccups. 
35 calories for the whole bottle. Don't expect this to be like sickeningly sweet, like how you make your um, specialty sweetened drinks. So yeah, I kind of went in, but I was surprised by basically how watery this tastes. And um, of course, you know, my criticism is more matcha flavor, um, less water, but, it, you know, to make this bottle, I would just say more matcha flavor, put in more matcha flavor. But then again, for folks that don't really like um, the taste of matcha, this is kind of a nice way to ease yourself into matcha and get the full benefits. Well, I wouldn't say full benefits because this is watered down. But you get you get most of the benefits from matcha. It's just, I personally, hmm. I mean, the hint of honey is fine. It's It's got that hint, but I'm looking for that vegetal note that, um, you know, it makes it nice to have it with sweets because it counteracts all the, that sweetness. Sort of like how um, black coffee does for, you know, folks that like it with a sweet dessert or yeah, sweet dessert or a sweet um, breakfast, you know. So that's me and matcha, you know. I would, I would have this. It's still a nice, refreshing drink. It's just that, um, you know, I still don't have an idea of what ceremonial matcha is because this is super watery, super watered down. But... Yeah, if you have somebody who's curious as to what matcha tastes like and um, they're kind of scared to, like, commit and buy the tin of matcha, like a tin of decent matcha um, or even a pouch of decent matcha, then, you know, this drink is a nice uh, segue into breaking the mold, I, I suppose. So, yeah, um... We still got some more drinks to go about. So, folks, we will see um, how or what I have in store for tomorrow. <laughs> but that's going to do it for this episode, y'all. Thank you very much for tuning in. Really appreciate you. Can never thank you enough. Uh, any questions, comments, suggestions, or small talk, don't be a stranger. Leave it in the comment section below. Any and all are welcome. Greatly appreciated. Love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Um, have you tried this company, Matcha Bar? If so, what flavors have you tried? I even, I went on their website um, and they do have energy drinks. I'm shying away from those, but um, they have some interesting drinks um, alongside this. They're staple matcha product series so um yeah i mean it is what it is well we'll see you tomorrow or it's gonna be a hmm. i think yeah wednesday tomorrow will be a two video day so um yeah we'll see how that fares out um I just, I hate the fact that I um, missed the mark on Mondays. Just that Mondays are really bad because that's when I'm traveling. And that's when, you know, I'm settling in. So I don't get to shoot until late in the evening. But the other days of the week, like, I can shoot whenever because I'm already situated here. So, yeah, y'all, that's going to do it. So... Take care, take it easy, make it a great day today and every day, and I will see you all tomorrow for a two-video special, I believe. So this is Sasha signing off. Take care, make, have a great day, and uh, yeah, until next video. Bye now.